Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, so, I got some new stuff to show off here. Um, you guys might have been following the uh, website. Uh, a couple new versions have been released. Actually, uh, pretty much been getting out a brand new version almost every day. So, um, lots of new features going in, lots of bug fixes. A um, couple of the important ones. Um, I've uh, been working on the installer, trying to work some of the quirks out with that. Um, advanced installer, the installer application we use has a lot of uh, bugs when it comes to Windows 10 it looks like. So we're trying to work through those um, and I think I got most of them done on the newest version. So um, <clears throat> when you're upgrading an old version it's still going to use the old installer to uninstall the old version so you might still run into new bugs or run into those bugs as you update. Um, but going forward it should be a smoother operation. So. Um, beyond that, um, autom uh, not automatic updating, but update notifications is now in place for the program. Um, so when you start it up, um, if there is a newer version of Input Mapper on the server, it will n let you know about it, tell you uh, what the new feature, uh, the change log is, and give you a link to go download it. Um, it's not an automatic updater because it doesn't actually install the update for you and all that stuff. It just tells you that there's a new one available, gives you the link, and you go grab it from the site. Um, other than that, um, I have been working on the, uh, the new device wizard, um, and I can show that off actually right here. Uh, so what I have is I'm going to turn on my DualShock 4 here. Um, I deleted the configuration for it, so as far as the program is concerned, this will be my first time connecting this device to the computer. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up now. And you see on my screen here, we get a new supported device was found, Wizard. Um, so this is handy for users that are unfamiliar with the application and don't know how to initially set up a device. Um, the steps that are involved right now are pretty basic. Um, I'll add more steps and make it more in-depth as time goes on. But right now this just gives you the basic nuts and bolts to actually make it work. Um, you get an option whether or not you want to create a new profile for it. Um, if you already have a profile for DualShock 4s and you just want to use the same profile for all devices, that's fine. Or if you want to make a duplicate of an existing one like you plan on making changes specific to this device that's what this one's for. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and say new profile. Call it test test DS4 profile. Hit next. Uh, it'll ask us what we want the output device to be. Um, we're going to say a 360 controller. That's probably the most common. And we say finish. And you see, it automatically added the device, created the profile, set the profile, um, and created the 360 device as the output. So, um, just a cool new little uh, feature um, for you know people that are really using the program for the first time and have no idea the concept uh, of you know the profiles and assigning the profile to a controller. Um, a lot of people just expect to you know turn the pro turn the controller on and it just works. Um, God, now I sound like Bethesda. Uh, but no, it is it is a little bit more involved with, than that, but hopefully, you know, using these wizards, we can kind of help guide uh, some of the new people um, to where they need to be. Uh, so other than that, um, a lot of work going on on the website, you guys might have noticed, you know, um, every now and then it'll have an error or something on it. It's because I'm working on the code in the back end and I misplaced a colon or a semicolon or something like that somewhere, uh, which causes the whole site to have a conniption fit. But um, yeah, I'm still working on the website. Um, main focus of that is trying to uh, create the communication between the application and the website for stuff like the, uh, this, like the actual new version check and all that stuff. Uh, so, um, all that's actually going pretty good. I have that running pretty smooth as of now. So, um, make sure you have the latest version so you get to make use of all those features. Alright guys, that is about it. Um, next week I am going to start 
uh, really putting the hammer down on the keyboard and mouse input and keyboard and mouse output drivers. Um, I don't see any critical, I don't think I have any critical bugs on my roadmap right now that would prevent me from uh, jumping right into those next week. So uh, I expect to get those soon. All right, guys, that'll do it for this week. Have a good one.